and welcome everyone. Um, my name is Henry Pan. And uh, today I'm coming with my collaborator, Wang Pei Yun. Yeah. Yeah, today we welcome everyone to their, the journey in the somatic therapies. Uh, today it will be around, it will take around 90 to 120 minutes of the event. We will have a, a presentation and then we will have some kind of discussions with, with the audience as well and then we, we will have some demo and also with Q&A session. And uh, of course, um, without our great supporter, uh, Kyoto Experiment, and Hotel, Natural Tokyo, and National Culture and Foundation Taiwan, uh, thank you for their support for our, our event today. And first today uh, we will have uh, thank you Naya for being a researcher for us today. Yeah, it will be in English and uh, in Chinese translation. And the privacy note is that uh, they will have a uh, documenting by recording the, the video of the event. And I'm also interested about like when people are conscious 
and sleep. What is the difference? And is there more complicated situation that we can understand? And also, uh, sleeping and awaking is a kind of like continuity status. And I'm curious about like how people transfer into these different states. And when I when we start to discuss about the sleep and first issue and we look at our previous practices and we found out that actually we are already starting to do something related to the project. My background is more related to the performance area and I have a typical composition which is a collective for three creators. In this work, you can sleep here. In the beginning, was commissioned by Moka Taipei, Museum of Contemporary Art Taipei, in 2016. And this project also commissioned by a conference festival in 2018. In the beginning of the idea you can sleep here is because in the Taipei city center, one called Zhongshan area, and in that place is a very busy place. But at the same time, we also notice uh, many the homeless sleep on the streets. But the key reasons that we want to do this project is because in front of the museum, there were many, many branches and the branches is quite wide, like the picture that you can see on the left. In that time, one of the bench was broken, and the museum going to repair, re, repair it. And but the local community called the new chair can with arms. The reason is very simple that local community don't want the the homeless to sleep on it. 
で、その理由というのは、えー、その、まあ、ジムのとかは、ホームレスがこのレンズに加わることを避けるために、そういうふうにしたいというふうな。So, in between that time, we set the medium,、uh, the monument, to have a very little bench on it. You can see the right down picture. And written on, there was a chair, and you can see it here. And then we start to do the survey of the district of like、uh, the place of the corner or any place spot that people can see there.
会議に行って、そして服を脱いで、えー、マッサージをから。And then we will use the bike fabric like a left side picture and cover them like a mummy. And the scrum of the ingredients is very interesting because some people will feel the heat, but some people will feel the cold. であの体をマッサージするときに使うマッサージの素材も非常に気持ちよく、えっと、これをあの使うマッサージをしてある人は温かさを感じある人は涼しさとか冷たさを感じたというふうに、えっと、聞いています。When they mummified with the fabric and we will play the 70 hertz music to them. 70 hertz of frequency of the sound. Is because when we do the meditation, our brainwave is very close to that. So the experience combined with the relaxation and modifying. And also respond to some rituals, and those rituals represent the journey of moving on. The So we really love to put those audience down and have a very relaxed status while we do our work. So, as we start with this idea of sleeping and dream, and the beginning concept is talking about leading pattern, the vision analysis. And we are thinking about like before the electricity or the modernization age, actually, our leading pattern of working and sleeping is different from now. そしてですね、このまあ、メモリーとお金のコンセプトについて、金額で考えるときに、睡眠率の分析というのが一応学習されていまして、電気が起きる前の時代というのは、私たちの生活サイクルが非常に今、えっと、なっていました。So in the beginning, maybe our living pattern is more like a follow the nature, and then after the electricity and the industrialization or modernization, and people walking longer, and even 24 hours. Especially in today, the globalization age, that some people have the experience to walk through the different time zone, or they have to walk like in shift, like if you take responsible for the day shift, or you take responsible for the night shift, and the biological clock is very different from now your modern age walking pattern. 
特にですね、このグローバリゼーションの時代において、私たちはこう働き方というものが非常に異なってきています。例えば違う、えー、資産のある、えー、国、もしくはなる地域をまたいで働くことになります。日中と夜のシフトで働き方を変えるという。ですので私たちの生態リズムというものと、えー、この経済の社会の中で生きていくというものが非常に異なっているんです。
So, so sleep becomes a form of the training as well. And this is like the, the World Sleep Championship that everyone can also show with some devices that uh, keep tracking of how the quality of their sleep. This is like the siesta test for, for people who can fall asleep as fast as possible within the 20 minutes.
なので、例えば夜勤であれば、夜の7時から翌日のお昼1時まで、間に2時間の休憩があって、そこでちょっと仮眠を取るような生活をしております。昼間については、例えばお昼の今日ですと1時から出勤してきて、夜の10時までの勤務というところで、まあ、月の半分以上は夜勤、残りは日勤みたいな形で働いている形になります。また、特に日本でそういう、まあ、変則的なシフトで働いている方でいうと、えー、例えば病院にお勤めの方であるとか、あとはちょっとお話しましたドライバーさんですね。長距離トラックで運転されている方っていうのが、まあ、知人にもいてそういった方々がちょっとイメージが与えた形になりますあとは私自身の睡眠の、まあ、テクニックというか経験として夜勤に入る時には、えー、といつもよりも長く寝ます朝6時半に子供を起こして朝ごはんをあげてでその後もう一回眠りについてで次起きてくるのは3時半ぐらいに起きてきて夜の7時に合わせて出勤してくるというような生活をしていますでテクニック的なところでいうとやっぱり明るいところだと眠れないので寝室の窓に遮光カーテンを二重で引いてまして結構、えー、と日中でも真っ暗な環境で寝れるようにしてるっていうのがちょっと特のところかなっていうふうに思いますじゃあそんなところかなあのお互いに共有できるような時間みたいなものをのことが。どうなったか<笑>い
かつて説明してはじめまして、のすごく興味があるお話を受けて、とても光栄です、ありがとうございます。えっと、もうそうですね、私はあの昔からあの、えー、演劇の方をやっておりまして、あの舞台の方を2つ3つ掛け持ちしながら、アルバイトをしながらっていう生活を10年前ぐらいやってた時はもういつでもどこでも寝れるという特技を身につけまして立ちながらでも電車の中で寝たりとか今しか出れないと思いながら寝たりとかあのそういう特技を身につけて今は子供も生まれたんですがあの朗読劇絵本をやったりするんですがそのとりあえず子供のことを早く終わらせて。自分の,あの絵本を描いたりしているのでそのイメージが湧くのがちょうど寝つきに寝,寝,何しよう寝,寝て目を閉じてすごく心地いい時にアイデアが浮かぶんですよねなぜか昔からでリラックスした状態の方がイメージが湧きやすくて結局寝る時間が「あ今描かないと」と思って起きて2時3時になってしまうっていうであの日中。電車移動の時に寝たりとかその東京行く時の深,深夜バスだったりとか電車の中だったりとかもどこでも寝れるような特技を身につけたのでこれといって皆さんの場合で発言していい話なのかっていうところなんですけれどもそうです、ね、あとリラックスして寝るのはあの猫を飼っておりましてあの猫のお腹をもう顔つけてこう,こうやってやったらすぐ寝れます。はい、猫が私のすごく癒しになってます。すいません、こんな話で失礼します。どうしましょう。はい、ありがとうございます。
concept of somatic telepathy. Uh, somatic means body, and telepathy means uh, using the telegram to connect heart with heart. Because when we talk about labor or working, it's always about your body. So we combine these two words together just to try to represent the kind of feeling that we're using the telepathy way to so the core question will be can we walk during our sleeps and can we make money from our dreams? Another terms will be synchronization. That can we synchronize our sleeping and walking status? Because the previous example is more like how we improve our sleep to have a better walking performance. But now we want to speculate the idea that even if you sleep all day, you still can why we use the word synchronization is um, we studied a bit from the science research that they have an assumption called your body as a kind of interface to food. So usually we will think dream is quite private, just happen in your brain. The latest research shows that your body also will affect your dream content. So they divide it into two kinds of body, one called sleeping body, one called dreaming body, while you are sleeping. And these two bodies in the same person actually is co-constructed. We learned this idea in this year that we join another project called Sociability of Sleep in Montreal, Canada. Montreal, Canada, 
at the same time also be stimulated by the environment while we are dreaming, even though we cannot easily to contact with the actual dream content, but somehow we can characterize it. Another idea is talking about us we are sleeping and we can abstract from the brain wave to see the different brain unit activities. And also now also shows that uh, actually when we are asleep, not like a whole brain sleep, it's like a partial sleep. It's a very complex function in our brain. So if we can wisely to use the spring way to connect with the society of digital society that somehow maybe it's possible that we can also use our brain way to work. So even though this start with the speculation and learn from the nowadays science, that it seems like we have the foundation to bridge to proceed the future life. Sleeping can be a form of labor, and then we start to do the uh, try, try to consult with the scientists and find out that it's possible. So now actually uh, the sleeper wearing the simple EDG to create the sound is like also talking with us at the presence. And we can also be, because it's that, so we can also be transferred into the different things. And now we do another shift.
So uh, in when 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 we are sleeping, we always I mean everyone I guess everyone has put their phone like by their side. And the idea of the the, the, the phone, I mean, um, sometimes you know that we the phone is kind of always listening to us. So then sometimes you can uh, activate, I mean you can activate that uh, only by itself. Or it can be activated by, by someone else as well. Because the phone is become like an extension of, of us and then um, the data and it keeps listening to us, it kind of sent it to somewhere that we have no idea where it is. So uh, a kind of our idea is also to to rethink about how our phone perhaps it can be uh, it can communicate back to us while we sleep or it can become a tool for some someone who want to control or manipulate our sleep or our dream. And uh, since there are so many sensors that we can also kind of uh, collecting all the data about about us, how we sleep, or if you're snoring, you can also know how you snore. If you change the movement of the body, it also know. Uh, it also know how much light goes in the room. It it learns all the behavior. So our sleeping body becomes a data. Yes, and for Yeah, 
example of how scientists found a way to communicate with the people while they're sleeping and breathing, and even ask them to solve a uh, math problem. So uh, how they train people to um, solve the math problem is that before they sleep, they would be training like how to roll in the eyes, and then when there is a sleeping stage, uh, there is a stage called uh, hypnotage where you are not fully deep into the deep sleep yet. That's when the scientists try to communicate with the sleepers. Uh, yeah, training the eyes, like right? closing eyes and then rolling left and right. Yeah. Maybe left is one, two. Yeah. That, that's how they train the answer. So like uh, I think you and I we are kind of developing 
the performance to address these, these issues from how our life is being changed or the, the, the surveillance control and privacy concerns and through the understanding of the sleep as a form of labor.
で私たちはこの一つを考えるので非常に期待されているものだというふうに思います。That is the best font that I want to develop. Thank you so much.
ことはありますね。ということは、そこにいるときには、やっぱ積極的に寝ようとしてるっていう。はい、じゃあ、例えばもっとすごく寝心地のいいセットを作ると、やっぱり、っていうのはそ,その方がいいんだろうっていうことですね。Yes. Uh, the, the second time I almost fall ミーティングでオンラインで喋ってる時も彼の話をリーズンでやってました。いや、すごい面白いし、本当に眠ってしまうと、起こされた時に機嫌が悪くなるかもしれないなと、ちょっと心配になりました。あのすごくあの楽しみにしています。あのそうかギターブラックの言葉はそこそこをなんか取ってきたかというかあの改めて面白いと思いました。Thank you very much.
nuestros costes no aumentan para el futuro. So that is delta, theta, alpha, theta, gamma. Delta, theta, alpha, theta. Yeah, from from very low frequency to very high frequency, which is around forty. Uh, and then uh, simply we can we can with this device you can see that if you are in, in a very calm state or you are very agitating or exciting or you're thinking something too much, it will show to the brain wave. So, uh, for uh, some neuroscientists, for the researcher, when you are sleep for the sleep test, they will try to detect uh, your your breathing pattern, or your, your your brain, how they respond to uh, the, the your body situations that can be reflecting in detecting of the sleep at the end of when you are snoring or when you stop breathing. It's like when you're when you're snoring, you stop breathing. Thank you. 
few months and years uh, from the, it is possible that we can learn something or new things can be capitalized by making some money. I think that's a uh, kind of imagination that in the future, near future, I don't think near future. Maybe while you are sleeping, maybe you are doing the impressed 
and sit down at the moment and buy a lot at the moment and you broke up and you bring back around and it, it can be probably very dangerous. I, I, I still remember one thing that we discussed about before about like uh, if we can have kind of like a weapon and uh, that weapon can trigger by our brainwave while we're asleep and the weapon kills someone and the person should be taken responsibility more than us. So it's like a also wonderful picture, but at the same time, you also need to concern about some consequences that may happen if you cannot control your brain.